there's never been a wild orca ever in the history of mankind known to ever kill a single human being. And you have two SeaWorld orcas killing two people within two months. You know, there's another animal trainer that was killed in Canary Islands, a former SeaWorld orca. And, this, and of course, uh, Tillicum has killed three people in its lifetime. You know, so to me, I mean, what, what, you know, the, the real killer here, here is not the, the killer whale, the killer whale, the killer is SeaWorld. They, they made a calculated business decision that it somehow justifies uh, putting these trainers at risk. You know, these animals are stressed. They've got, uh, you know, they don't, I mean, Jesus. I mean, you know, Jacques, it's, it's this, when you take a, a, a beautiful, sentient, intelligent animal out of the wild and you train them to do stupid tricks for our amusement, it says more about our intelligence than it does theirs. It's very simple. Um, these, and the, the, you, you force a killer whale to kill. I mean, I would be a killer too, well too. I mean, this is a nice room, right? We, we could order room service, get some pizza delivered, you know, but eventually we're all going to want to go home and do, be with our families. This is the most social animal in the world. You know, an orca it lives, you know, the resident pods uh, live with their, with their mothers their entire life. You know, they stay with their, their pod their entire life. And they're, you know, Tilcom was, was at two years old, ripped from its mother, put in a concrete tank, and became a, a cash cow for them down there. So that, that was, the, the first SeaWorld response would, was it would be a real shame because, uh, it, to take Tilcom out of service because it's such a cash cow for us. It's like, you know, it's a, it should be a shame because it's been killing people. You know, not because it's, you know, it would fail to make money for SeaWorld. You know, you, all you have to do is follow the money, usually, you know, to figure out what the motivation is. Everybody seen Avatar? Yes. You know, not <laughs> Anyone not seen? People. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, so, you get this, okay. The, the, the code, to me, is a prequel to Avatar. It's a, you have Rickleberry, ex-military guy, goes in to subjugate the natives, finds out they're more intelligent and sensitive than he realizes, and he enlists like a team to vanquish his own species. And the, the aliens are nine foot long and blue, except this, you know, this movie is set in the present and it's real. 